Cassidy. The three people in tune with the universe. Neil Cassidy. Sid Barrett and Sebastian. Shadows disappearing. Since these cosmic rods, Sebastian. Come this way. Or you go your own way. Like anybody who would still get freaked out about Timothy Leary is kind of like, I mean, he's it's sort of a dead issue, no pun intended. So people don't really get freaked out about him anymore. But, uh, yeah, man, they did. It's hard to say. <laughs> Give him the courtesy of a light show. No, the thing that was great though. I just wish I could get every person there and therapy. Or like, man. I had to get this camera maneuvered in like the chaos of the rain and the storm. I mean, what was it you said you had to do when you had to like use the bathroom? It was like the archetype oh, of a piss. Like gods were like thundering lightning and that was weird. And you had to like piss. <laughs> it was like amplified ten times on Owlsley. With like, yeah. And like the Moody Blues were off the stage. But didn't you have to like maneuver yourself through some like Egyptian or hieroglyphic river or something? Like the, I had to the scale. steps were flooded. It was like, man, I like, felt like you know what I felt like though, man. I felt like we were coming to a four-way stop of our lives. Yeah, and where like these pathways are like the, the like land bridge of consciousness yeah. that we filmed today. Yeah, this road. Like different is. destinies to choose. Yeah. See, man, it is. It's like going through confusion and coming out in admiring. Your own confusion and people admiring you. Yeah, for like it's sort of like the metaphorical meaning of the trip to Deer Creek. The crossroads of consciousness, a land bridge on a plain of grass, sucking through the sonic sewer tube of the cigarette, Dante's Inferno, land of the dogs guarding people's property. My own processes overcome me. I will exist in strawberry fields forever. We are the end-all be-all be -all to ourselves. You can't help the domino effect of change. The two lakes metaphorically represent an individual uh, coming into existence as far as like adult life, choosing between dropping out and becoming a plastic conditioned member of society but finding a middle ground between the two lakes and between the two paths and, and, fi and between the two paths of existence finding a perfect middle ground to keep him content and to keep both sides of the paths content with him cosmic soup kitchen man Techniques in cosmic light sprite land. <laughs> it's, you gotta move it to where it's more level.
Have a seat. It's okay. Go right ahead. Have a seat. Hi, I'm Dr. Jens. Go ahead and sit down. I was just reading through your file here. Um, it's an interesting, uh, some interesting stuff we got here. I guess uh, after reading it, I, I sort of just want to ask you a straightforward question. Um, maybe you can tell me, uh, why do people frighten you, Sid? Are you afraid of aggressive animals like bears or sharks? Well, yes, I am, but I'm not afraid of humans, Sid. That isn't all the way true, Dr. Jens. Well, no, no, I guess it isn't all the way true, but uh, I'm not afraid of seemingly harmless people as you seem to be. I mean, people that are your peers. I mean, people really aren't vicious animals. Well, the motivations I perceive in them would uh, freak anyone out who didn't feel the need for the same aggression. Okay. okay. Um, have you ever suffered from panic attacks? What do you mean? Well, I guess you could call them massive public freakouts. Yeah, but they're not ones of, in, of true intensity. They're more like a steady fear. Do you think that it's the chaos of open space that sort of freaks you out? I don't have some phobia, Doctor. I just feel like I'm in a zoo in a cage with prehistoric hunters. It's so bizarre, I can't relate it to you. Hmm. That is strange. Um. Well, Sid, if you don't mind, I'd like to take a look in there. What do you mean, Doctor? Well, are you going to send some madman with a stethoscope in the ocean? <laughs> um, something like that. Let me introduce you to my pet. Right this way. This. All right, file in. This is our welcome to our experimental neuroscientific technological lab. Oh, okay, come in. Can everyone see okay? <clears throat> All right. This here is our modern positron emission tomography machine. But before we get to that, which I actually have a special surprise with this, I actually pet, have... Pet machine? Yeah. I, yes, exactly. I actually have an individual which we will hook up to this, and when we do that, I'll go into exactly what it's doing. But right now, let me tell you about the newest thing that we're working on. Dr. Jens is so unconventional. <laughs> Thank you. Um, coming up uh, pretty soon, the, they're putting the finishing touches on it. We're designing a mechanism we call our Thought Pattern Simulation Inducer. And it's what this mechanism does. You have two individuals. One we've designated as the thinker. The Would the other, other one, be the psychologist, sir? The other one, the pseudo-thinker. Just hold your questions to the end, please. Um, and the idea, we hook one individual up, and every thought, basically, we've come to this conclusion, this theory, as of now, that every thought is an infinite synchronization of neural firing. And we've designed a mechanism which can record every single neuron which fires and that is generated with artificial intelligence through a computer and it is sent from one individual into the other one through the complicated process and then that, that same pattern of neural firing is stimulated in the other individual. Therefore, one person's thoughts are stimulated specifically in another individual and Basically, this, or this mechanism allows an individual to experience the pure, complete thoughts of another person. I mean, the, the possibilities for this machine, I'm sure I don't have to go into, are endless. But um, I'll have to admit it's still a little crude at the moment. But we're working on it. So we'll keep you posted in our journal. Now, what you actually came to see, the modern... Positron emission tomography. Forget your old old concept of the PET scan, which just monitored blood flow and brain brain action with you know blood flow equals neuron flow, neuron firing. Pardon me, and we could tell what part of the brains were active when individuals performed specific tasks or contemplated given ideas. But this 
the newest research in organically locating the subconscious mind, this machine can actually chart neural firing in those designated areas of the subconscious and translate them into imagery which is going on in the individual's head which we can view through a complicated process of, of with similar ideas with our other machine I was just describing, translating these thought patterns into the imagery that is actually perceived by the individual. However, in this case, the subconscious imagery is not even perceived, and so this machine is like Freud's dream, you know. Even though we've gotten away from his primitive ideas, we have come to the conclusion that there is a biological structure which we feel is the subconscious mind. So, incidentally, these, this machine synthesizes thoughts and images on some teleprompter. Can we watch it exactly. on, through like and a video that screen? Is why this tour for you uh, special residents is extremely valuable because, uh, hold on, we have Sid Synopsis. Uh, an actual individual who is undergoing some strange psychiatric phenomena, uh, who we're going to actually hook up to this bad boy, and we're going to uh, <laughs> there he ends. we're going to uh, we're going to scan what's going on in his uh, mind, if you will. What would Doctor Yens? What have you diagnosed Sid with? Subconscious. Well, uh, we we um we don't we paradoxical. Don't exact, we don't exactly know yet. Um, we uh, we're really not sure at all. We're uh, we're going to have to uh, scan him. So what, we know anything. We don't know. Was anything. he evaluated to have any like uh, the s schizophrenic tendencies? Um, Psychosomatic. Slightly paranoid, paranoid, but really we don't know anything. Um, let's uh, let me uh, uh, bring him in. Just everyone demonstrate the machine for everyone. us, doctor. Stay calm. Doctor Yens. Okay, step this way, Sid. Don't mind these hey, people. They're uh, they're uh, trained. They're Dr. basically uh, doctors. They're just uh, in their finer training. Doctor Yens, come right in. Why well, must you? Ladies me. and gentlemen, this is Sid Synopsis. He'll be uh, demonstrating the modern pet for you. Uh, Sid, doctor, may I introduce you to my these people are all okay. May I introduce you to my pet? They're sharks. They're all watching me, Doctor. Okay. Sit down here, Sid. Just have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention really quick to uh, to everyone about Sid's case, um, Sid has complained that he is experiencing bizarre sensations of animal aggression and viciousness in other individuals. Um, he, he's even seen it in myself and all of you. Uh, Sid seems to have some sort of bizarre psychotic reaction to other people, yet it's not classifiable as a phobia, especially a social phobia, which I originally thought. Um, okay, Sid, don't feel frightened at all. Let me just uh, flip this up to you. Okay, this, this, uh, this modern device here. Okay. Oh, this, will, this will monitor your neuronal firing through your temples. Plug you in here. There's a, I have that right here. Thank you. Sid Jax, as you can see, Sid is an intelligent individual, which I used to do stereo experiments on my equipment. Is not uh, is not hard to believe. The adapter jack. Okay. It's all right, Sid. Doctor, that is pushing. Okay. Does that feel okay to you, Sid? You can adjust it to make yourself comfortable. I mainly these are my main things. This just uh, regards uh, expert noise. Okay. There's a natural tendency to alter forms of consciousness and childhood behavior. You ever do this with your eardrums? Right. Uh, okay. Thank you, Sid. Um, okay. Is what we're gonna do, Sid? Is I'm just gonna turn this machine on here. Is it going to hurt, Doctor? Uh, it shouldn't hurt. Um, I really don't think it will. Uh, like I say, uh, just sit down, relax, and uh, folks, uh, enjoy the show. Go, go, 
Conquer because I can put the word victim on the citizens' notes. Why, look how vulnerable we are. It's amazing how much effect we can We know all this whole time he's hitting a water bong. Because I can uh, put the word victim on citizens. Reality, kind of fixture. Why? Stroke light, fixture. Wow, 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 wow. Spiral, Perfect. zone, cosmic, uh, gnome. Wow, 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 wow. You got me. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Robotic systems, antipodes, going beyond control. <laughs> They're blowing my brain, Captain. They're scanning the signals. <laughs> I'm coming through the other dimension of consciousness. Through Chris's Sid, 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 Sid in the telephone, in the TV, in the reality. Could be the end of another one's cosmic constriction. Pair realities. We're transporting antipode dream systems, cosmic connection, cyborg, cellophane. Diethyl Sid, Celestial and Cider, Cider Soda, Celestial Soda Pop, Cyberdyne Productions. Through the electric light sprite land. God. And boom! All I have to do is pull the trigger. 
get over here! Get back! Terminate all the other models. The older ones. They're starting to think for themselves. We can't have that now, can we? Out there! Then get to it! We've got to revive him, Doctor. We've got to revive him, Doctor. Sit very Doctor. <laughs> Inject him with thorax. Thank you. 
Wait, wait, 